Hello everyone, this is Neuronium. Welcome back to the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. Last time we ended up tackling Scorch, dealing with some pesky monkeys and flags. So many flags. In this episode, we're going to be dealing with Magma Cone, which also has, coincidentally, one of my most hated missions in this game. He dead. He dead. <laughs> you don't care that he dead. All right, let's see if they gave them the accents. Hello, Spyro. I suppose you're here for the party. Well, I'm afraid it's been canceled because the stupid Earth Shaper set off the volcano. Yep, they gave him the accent. Let's see if the Earth Shapers still. Yeah, the Earth Shapers still look the same as opposed to the Earth Shapers from. Uh, Fracture Hills. Well, they still have the green moss on them. Yep, and the other ones still look like the other Earth Shapers. Good. Because that, that was the one thing that always weirded me out. They made two separate models. Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he? They are fast. Huh. They made the song sound weird. I don't know how I feel about it. Because I like the. Oh, no. No. As I do my impressions of a song. Like, this just sounds like somebody gurgling. All right, and in this way. Boop. You will not escape my wrath. Wait. Nope. Spyro, I need you to climb down. Right. Get all the gems that are on the side now. Right. Get those two. Oh, I missed a gem down there. Boop. Pop. I burned ow. That was my fault. Right. There's a gem lime down here. Nope. No gem lime down here. Kill the snail. I have no idea how to drop down normally. Buddy, stop running. Stop. You run way too fast for your own good. How does one run too fast for their own good? I don't even understand that concept myself. Hi, Mr. Earth Shaper. Did he deserve that? Probably. Set off a volcano. Alright. 
Let's go and do the mission I hate. Especially because the it had the original problem was the camera wasn't too zoomed out, so I'd I'd run in weird ways. Hey Hunter. Also, why is there an ice cave inside of a volcano? Hey Spyro, check out this cool cave I found. Let's play a little game. Every so often a piece of this crystal popcorn pops out of the ground. The first one to grab ten of them wins. I'm ready when you are. Yanked. I didn't realize there was a trophy for stealing from Hunter right as he's about to get it. So that's actually great. Oh, you jerk. Still has the same problem. There we go. Okay, you win. Here's an orb. You jerk! You gonna explain where you found it? Try to lie to me. I'll give you another orb if you can beat me again. Let's play to 15 this time. What do you I'm ready when you I hate this mission so much. You can't really hear them that well. Like, that's how you used to be able to tell. There we go. You're really good. I'm gonna have to come up with some harder games. For now, I'll take this orb. I guess you earned it. You're a damn skippy, I earned it. The original I hate in the original Spyro 2 Rifto's Rage, I despise that mission so much. It is what I consider to be the worst mission in Spyro 2. Good to know that I was somehow able to do it in Spyro to remaster. Oh no. It's gonna hurt. No! Oh. They had a wider hitbox than the original. That's the most thing that gets me, like, confused. Like, their hitbox is different. I don't know how to comprehend this. I still don't like Magma Cone's song. Alright. Three. Go and get those lives. One. Two, three, and now for hello, my dear boy. Well, if it isn't my best customer, the elevator in the next room can take you to the volcano. You can have unlimited use of the elevator for a one-time fee of only a few gems. It's a pleasure doing business with you. 
Simply step onto the elevator and it will take you to the bottom. When you want to come back up, just step on it again. I found that the elevator business is one of my most profitable. Behind bridges, of course. I hate you so much. All right. Going down. Got another life. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's anything here, so. Close this hatch. Close the hatch. Thanks for closing the lid on the volcano, Spyro. Things were getting a little too hot around here. By the way, here's a talisman I was saving for the party later. I think you deserve it more. It looks like a beer stein. It's actually cool. It looks like a beer stein. M magma cones used to just be, you know, a magma cone. Right. Now let us deal with the fire demons. Hey, Spyro. You're just in time for the party. Well, you would be if those nasty lava monsters hadn't stolen our hats. <sighs> it just won't be the same without party hats. Alright, I need a rock. One. Two. Alright, two of them. Three. Nope. Nope. I despise these lava demons. Where is Snail? Snail. No. That will teach you. Right. And boop. No. No. Oh no. Nope. I hate these things. They hurt me. They hurt me so. Twelve. Boop. Give me back the hats, you monsters. Thanks, Spyro. You 
saved the party! Here, this got mixed in with the cheese balls, and I almost chipped a tooth on it. And that's all the orbs for Magma Cone. So, all orbs collected. Get another thing. Boop. One. And this should be the last of the gems. There we go. Magma Cone is now 100% complete. And I got the trophy, so I don't have to come back. So, let's leave. And then do the last of the regular worlds. They're just so casual to murder. Just so casual to murder. All right, so let us do the last of the mission missions, last of the worlds for Autumn Plains, and then in the next episode we will fight the boss. So Magma Cone is complete. So let us go over this way. Remember, we paid money bags. So let us head off now to Shady Oasis. Now, Shady Oasis is a world we cannot complete, like Fracture Hills. So keep that in mind. I don't even think we can get all the gems. So I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to rush through the world. All right, time for the obesity world. Spyro, it's a good thing you're here. I've been trying to get a berry out of this magic berry bush, but I'm just not strong enough. If you charge or flame the bush, one of those yummy berries should drop. Hmm. So they go from puny to the Murray. What is with those faces? The peacock. All right, let us kill you. Gonna ignore a lot of the gems. I normally do not do this, but it's because of the fact that this is like Fracture Hills. Well, no, nah, this is actually one of the ones that's not like Fracture Hills, in that you can't even get all the gems without this new power-up. Genie! Alright. Let us go up over this way. I have a magic berry. You hit me into the genie. Why would you do this to me? Oh no, bad water. Wait for me. Boop. Boop. Kaboom.
Nope. Bad genie. We're gonna need that to get the berry. Getting as many gems as I can get off the beaten path. Alright, and we are at the end of the world. And I feel fine. Thanks for helping me reach the great berry bush. Now we can eat berries all the time. Here, take this. It's a gift from all of us hippos. Thank you, Shorty. Ooh! I can summon the genie! Alright. So this is the magic pot. We can do all that. I believe you. Pyro, three thieves have stolen our magical brass lamps. Please get the lamps before they take them away from Shady Oasis. <laughs> yeah, that that that's nice and all. Not my problem. Wow, I only got a hundred and ah, oh, now I'm upset at myself. I could have gotten four, 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 four gems. Ah, oh, I'm mad at myself now. I should have paid attention to how many gems I had. But there we go. With that, we have gotten all of the talismans that are inside of Avalar. Which means... Well done, Spyro. Now that you have all 14 talismans, your guidebook can break the lock on the door, and you can fight Go. Are you ready? Maybe later. Come back whenever you're ready. So, there we go, folks. All we have to do now is to fight Gulp, deal with Ripto, and then we can relax. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end it off right here. This has been Neuronium. Next time, we're going to go and fight Gulp. And see if we can get a little bit farther in the autumn plains. See you all. Come back to your sheep next time.